Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Mass Effect. So last time we actually uh, became a Specter and exposed Saren and uh, got hit, rid of his Specter status. So I actually was going through the side missions because I uh, wanted to see if we could like do stuff to level up. And I just realized we could uh, turn in the reporter's request. So uh, it actually tells us we need to go to the upper wards to deliver it to her. So we're going to go do that. I was originally... Oh! I put on my helmet, I didn't realize that. I was actually messing around and, uh, upgrading, like, my equipment and all that for, uh, later stuff in the game. And I didn't realize that I could actually put on my helmet. That's actually really awesome. Okay, that's fine by me. Normally I wear the helmet whenever I play, so. I think we need to go to the men med clinic? I think that's the upper ward. They're not really giving me much here. But we're going to go over there uh, before we go to CSAC uh, to take the elevator up to the talk to the ambassador. Uh, so I'm just going to head over and talk to her. Hopefully, uh, this is where she is. If not, I'll look on the map because I do not know <laughs> where she is. Okay. Oh, we have a... Oh, wait. I think I already scanned him, so... Okay, let's see. Got some l a woman right there. Um, where is she? Where's... Wait. Oh, she's over there. So she appears in the same spot. That's actually very helpful. Yay! So let's go say hello to her. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay. See ya. Yay! Mission complete! I think it's complete. So, uh, let's see. Can we do much more? I mean, we could. I mean, it's not really gonna be that different. Uh, I would take off my helmet, but that requires me, like, pausing and do all... To It'll take a while. Like, I mean, like, going through each character and taking off their helmets is like, wah! I only, like, was like, hey, I want to put it on when I'm editing stuff. Uh, I didn't know it would actually work. So, uh, we're going to head to CSEC, uh, because, uh, we just need to. Um, I would do some more side missions here, but I feel like, uh, I don't want to, like, bore you guys with side missions. Because even though I want to level up, uh, it'll take a while. Garrus. Hi. Wait, that's not Garrus. That guy looked so much like Garrus. Oh my god. Dude, do you know how much you look like Garrus? Oh my god, it's very hilarious. Like, your outfits are the same, and it's like... Well, I, I better shut up. Okay, I'm gonna look around, because, uh... I don't, hold on, I can, I can go to the map. You know what, I'm gonna take off my helmet. I have to go to equipment, that's right. Um, Shepard, Garrus... There we go. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to, like, put it on. So let's see, what's this? We got the requisitions. Okay, I guess uh, there's not really much here. Okay. What does the requisitions have? Does it have, like, I'm guessing it's a store, so I, I'm going to check it out. Uh, see if I can, like, get some new items or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Wait, you're a keeper. I'll scan you, pal. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. Sick. Looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Yeah, I want to see what, what he has. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, awesome. 
but so expensive. Oh my! Why? I only have two thousand. Are you kidding me? That's not. Oh, I can't purchase anything. Why is everything so exp? Well, grenade upgrade isn't, and I mean neither is the ooh labs license. For Nor Normandy Quartermaster, I'm gonna get that and the grenade upgrade. Um, I can't. There's. Let's see. Can we sell anything? I mean, like. I mean, I don't. Ah, uh, I'll keep it. Screw it. I mean, if I need to sell something, I'll just. I don't. I don't know. I guess I'll like make a little paper let, uh, putting down like what I want want to sell you know like just write down everything I want to sell oh my god I don't know other news exogeny corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades gamma cluster when asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week company officials refused to comment okay that's nice. Nice to know. Okay, just gonna continue going up. Just gotta wait. So, how are you guys? Do you like this elevator silence? I know I do. Ah. Uh, you guys don't talk much, do ya? No. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to the ambassador. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. That's not big She's news. And quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. That's pretty sad. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, I... I'm just gonna go on, you know? Like, I could talk to Anderson, but, uh... I feel like we got all the info we need to uh, continue on. I feel like he'll just give us information about more stuff we need, you know? Yay! <laughs> I'm not standing by, I'm running around! I know, I'm just running around. Screw your little scan, I'll run around if I want. Oh god, that's fun. Captain Anderson survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. 
Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. I feel like I... I've played so many Mass Effect games that I know, like, how to do, like, the conversations. I feel like... Yeah, this is the... Oh, God, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I played through Mass Effect 2 and 3 multiple times, so I'm pretty sure I know how the conversations work uh, with which is good, the good answers and which are the bad with Renegade, but, I mean, it's, it's good. So... Uh, before we do anything, I want to actually go around the ship and talk to our crew because if uh, the few, if uh, the other Mass Effect games are anything like uh, this one uh, with a, with the conversation, all that, if I had to guess, I feel like uh, there the loyal there's also the loyalty uh, matter to it where you have to like talk to the crew and get like inform like just talk to them, you know, like. Uh, get to know them and all that so I feel like uh, that's gonna be the case for this game like it is in the other Mass Effects I know it is if you want to like get one of the romance scenes but uh, I I don't think I'm gonna do a romance scene in this game because uh, I know one of the I know like not every character has one you know so I mean like I know a I know the humans do. I didn't know they all have that. I mean, like, Caden and Ashley. I know they all have one. So. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Wow, Caden does not have uh, much with the conversation here. I guess uh, let's check in the med bay. I think there's also stuff I can, like, uh, I can read. Like, not read, like, get information on, like, to uh, get more experience and a journal entry, I guess. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Well, that's nice to know about Caden. I don't know if I can, like, talk to him about it, but, I mean... Let's see if that if that's the case, like, after investigating. I don't know. Probably not. Um, I want to see at least... Need, nope. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. God, I was hoping I could, but I guess, uh, I guess not. Let's look around. Maybe there's, there's a sleeper pod examination. That's good. We got a codex, some experience for that, so that's good. Um, now if I could recall, the rest of the crew is actually down here. 
and I'm gonna head down here and talk to him in the next video. But I mean, uh, I want to at least come down here and edit all the team's uh, locker and uh, their locker and their equipment because uh, mainly because I feel like if I don't do that now, I will never actually do so. So. And you know, it's always great to give them like the best weapons possible. So, I don't think in this video, video or the next, well this video is already over, almost over so, I mean, I don't think in the next we're going to be doing much action, but I will be talking to each one of the characters, get some inf or information about them, and I'll do that like after every main mission, you know? Um, so yeah, just to let you guys know, I do do that through all the Mass Effect games, like after our main mission I go and talk to the crew, get some information, b grow the loyalty of my crew member members, so uh, yeah, just to let you guys know and get to know like what I do in my Mass Effect games, um, so yeah, so if you guys enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, I'll see you guys in the next part where there probably won't be any action, just like this one. But a lot of talking. But if you're fine with that, then hey, be prepared for the next video. If not, just I guess I guess just watch and <laughs> maybe there will be action. I don't know. So if you, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.